are Latin women, are they a better option for black men? This is the question that I ask myself in the question that I have seen many people ask. And somebody came along my line and they say, you know what, Nizzo, can you give us your perspective on this subject? So as you guys know, I am a pro-black individual. I've been pro-black day one, ain't nothing changed. I know the difference between real pro-black and fake pro-black. So if you claim to be pro-black, please don't run across me. Because if you do, I'm going to analyze you to the fullest. For reals. So as I take this bark in my journey on my blackness, and I take it quite serious, as you see, I've never monetized my channel. I have money. I drive sports cars. I make music. I produce. I mix. I master. I do everything. I even write songs. So I have different avenues and different ways of making money. So I really don't have to rely on YouTube at all. And that's the beautiful thing. But it's the beautiful things for those that have built great careers on YouTube and have made um, quite a good you know, income off of YouTube in general. So I like to thank YouTube for giving people the opportunity to make some decent cash. That being said, let's address the elephant in the room. Are Latin women, are they a better option for black men? Now, as you know, the relationship that we have with the Latinx community is kind of complex. You know what I'm saying? It's a neither here nor there, sometimes, sometimes not. So the relationship is kind of rocky. You know what I'm saying? It's a here and there relationship. You know what I'm saying? It's not quite like the relationship we have with the Europeans because we don't have that history between the Latinx community in the black community. But as we know, some of the Latin X community that claim to be white or have have ties with the white culture, you know, they share some of the similar beliefs that white people have for black people. You know what I'm saying? So that's kind of a tricky dynamic when it comes to dealing with Latinos or Latin people in general. But when it comes to a choice of women, first of all, I make my decision based on what is that person willing to do for me? How much do that person really love and cherish who I am? Can that person really grasp how it feels to be black in America or can they really get as close as possible or are they willing to know how I feel as a black man in America and how I fit in and the ups and downs I have to deal with and the obstacles that I have to try to get over. You know what I'm saying? She really has to understand that. Now, me personally, you know, there is nobody that understands that better than a black woman that's, that's from my culture. There is no other woman that can understand how it feels to get followed around in the store. Um, pulled over for no reason, you know what I'm saying? Um, asked many questions, treated like a criminal, you know what I'm saying? Even though the Latinx community has experienced some of these things. But see, what separates that, what separates the black woman from the Latino woman, so we might as well go ahead and compare them, right? There is a very big difference. And the reason I say there's a very big difference, you know what I'm saying, is because when it comes to Latino women, they look at black men a little bit different than black women look at black men. Like, black women look at um, black men in a way where 
they want to protect them. You know what I'm saying? Black women, when they see a black man, they go automatically into protection mode, right? And that is because they seen their mother do it to their brothers, right? They go into protection mode. My baby, my son, what are you guys doing to him? You know what I'm saying? So naturally, when a girl is growing up and she's getting older, she's distinctive about when it comes to protecting her brothers, you know what I'm saying? And the men that are in her family, you know? So it's, to me, that is a plus because I know push come to shove, she's going to want to ride for me because she has seen her mother, her grandmother protect black men or move into protection mode. This is the reason why when you see Black Lives Matter or you see a black man get gunned down in the street, you don't see 50,000 Latino women marching. Okay. Not to say that they don't care about black men, but they are not trained, nor was they raised to go into protection mode when it comes to black men. And I have seen even when black women was under tremendous um, rejection from black men, I still seen black women protecting and going into that protective mode that they was instinctively brought up in, you know, and that's why, you know, people, you know, and I, under, I understand, you know, this whole pig me thing, you know what I'm saying, with the black women, why are you still protecting black men? They're not protecting you. They don't care about you. And I, I understand that to an extent, but I want all black women to understand that you were raised to go into protective mode when it comes to black men. That's what you was raised for. You know what I'm saying? And so that's gonna come naturally. So don't bash the black women that go into protective mode when it comes to black men. It's just, that's how they was brought up. That is within our culture. That's why you see the mother out there crying when she sees her black son outlined in chalk. And she's crying. You can hear her screams from miles away. It is that passion that a black woman has distinctively, which separates her from the Latin woman. You see what I'm saying? And even though the tradition is different, you know what I'm saying, that Latin women, you know what I'm saying, tend to believe that some of them i know some sassy ones now let's not forget they grew up in the hood right beside us i know some very sassy latinas and they got some sassy ones out there just like they have sassy black women so let's not just make it look like they're all the same okay so even though they might you know what I'm saying, tend to believe, you know, that cooking for a man and taking care of a man is what they're supposed to do. My concern is that's where it ends. Now, when it comes to the black woman, she's not only going to cook for you. She's not only going to clean for you. She's going to protect you, look out for you. You know what I'm saying? And she's going to make sure that you're okay. It's, it's, it's just different than just a Latino woman that is just traditionally, you know, as a tradition to be a submissive woman. It's different when it comes to a black woman because she has to be so much more. She has to be so much more because she understands so much more about the culture than the Latino woman does. And this is the reason why when I see black brothers and I see you with your Latino women and, 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 and I see it, but when push comes to shove, when it all goes bad, who does he run to? He runs to a black woman, his mother, right? 
He doesn't run to the Latin woman. Yeah, he talks to her about the issue. But when it comes to how it really feels, that black man goes and talk to another black person because even though he might love that Latin woman, he knows that it is impossible for her to really fully grasp how it feels to be disrespected as a black person in America. This is facts. And this is the reason why when he gets in that situation, he runs to his either his black sister or his black mother, because distinctively he know who really cares about him the most. Don't let these black men fool you. They know that you love them more than any woman on the planet. They're not pre they're they're not um, they're not naive to that fact. They know it's they know what it is. You know what I'm saying? But that's what they do. They run to a black woman. They run to their black aunt, their black mother, or their black sister. And they have that conversation because they know distinctively you have that automatic going to distinctive protection mode when it comes to black men. Now, where black women kind of messed up at is when you didn't hold their feet to the fire and demand the same in return. That was the wrong turn that I see in the relationship. But, you know, only a black man knows how a black man feels and only a black woman really knows how a black woman feels. You know what I'm saying? But if we can respect each other, then we won't have these issues because we both have to understand that we both play a significant part in the black culture an equal significant part in the black culture. So when I see, you know, black men saying, I'm going to go to a Latin country and find a woman, I'm going to go over here. Yeah, you're going to go over there, but you're going to find a woman that has not had the experience that you have. And that might be where the problem comes in when you start to console with her and she doesn't quite get it. You know what I mean? She doesn't quite know what you're talking about, even though her hair might be, you know, what I'm saying our texture and come from the same continent, even though she's in a Latin country, she's still just a, you know, an African woman that's born or grew up in a Latin country and speak the Latin language. You know what I'm saying? She still doesn't have the American history, the American experience. See, the black American woman has the American experience and she gets it and she understands. And that's why even though these black men might run to these Latin women, they're going to go talk to a black woman when it all goes bad. They're going to go talk to their mother, which is the first black woman they go talk to so even though he might say i have disconnected myself from the black woman he really has it you know what i'm saying it's only in his mind you know what i'm saying that he feels that he have disconnected and it's really just him being um resentful you know some guys they get their heart broken and they feel let down by the black woman and they feel she should have done more and and he could should and he should have um excuse me gotten more out of that relationship with the few black women that he that he you know he been with and he got frustrated and he's like you know I'm going to I'm just going to try something different you know and it's just the frustration and and us as black people in general, we have really, we really have forgotten to have patience with each other. It's like we, it's like we know what we've been through, but we don't know what we've been through. And to use myself as an example, you know what I'm saying? Um, this is the reason why I'm very patient with black women. And I think it's because I am tapped in enough to understand what they have been through. See, if we don't tap into each other, and this is for the black woman too, you have to tap into what the black man has been through. And this is the reason why we have this, um, you know, kind of off balance relationship now is because we both don't take the time to look into what we both have really been through. You know what I'm saying? And I think if we did that, 
we will understand each other. And me personally, I understand black women because I'm tapped in. I understood that I need to know her, know her, not just know her because, you know, I have a sister that is black or my mother is black. I have to get to know her, her struggle, what she been through, how she feels, you know what I'm saying, when she's disrespected and when the world try to make it seem like that she ain't the most finest beautiful sexiest thing walking the planet you know and all the things that she go through if we both did that if the black woman did that for the black man and the black man did that for the black woman we would both be taken care of wouldn't we because you would be tapped into my experience as a black man as well and black women, you also have to do the same thing. You have to tap in. You can't say, well, you should be able to do better because of, well, you should be. No, you have to really tap in and really know what he's going through. And if you do that, if you really tap in, I know that you will see it from a different perspective. So to me, it's just a... Um, a simple miscommunication that's going in, that's going on, excuse me, between um, the black male and the black female. You know what I'm saying? That's how I look at it, you know. But anytime we say somebody is our savior, like they're going to come in and save the day. Like now the Latin women is going to save us from the black women. The, You know what I'm saying? Um, to me, it's kind of farce. You know what I mean? Because you're going to run into a lot of Latin women that's not going to understand you. That's why a lot of these relationships don't work out and they're not long term because they're not built on real love. They're built on resentment. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes even um, some of these Latin women that you meet, they have resentment for the Latin men. And it's the reason why they're dating you know, a black guy. So it's a, it's a lot goes on in there. And I believe that love has to be built on a true foundation and not on the facts of resentment. You know, this is the reason why I talk against these kind of relationships, because I know they're really built off resentment. You know what I'm saying? Um, sex, um, you know, export, exploitation, um, you know what I'm saying? Fantasies, you know, fetishes, you know, I know a lot of those relationships are built off of that. That is the very reason, not because of the color of the skin. I love all humans, white, black, yellow, purple, or whatever. I love all humans, but I know when something is built off a of true love, you know what I'm saying? And when it isn't in the majority of these relationships that black people get into female and male are not built on the true foundations of love that we have when we dated each other. You know what I'm saying? When we date each other, it's all for love because we don't have no fetishes for each other. We don't have no resentment. It's not built on resentment. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, no, I don't believe that Latin women are a better um, option. You know what I'm saying? If that's the option you want to take, then do it quietly. You know what I'm saying? I'm not with all the disrespect. You know what I'm saying? When we adventure off somewhere and say, well, it's better over here. You know, the grass is greener over here. But when we find out it isn't greener over there, we don't never come back and admit it, do we? You know what I'm saying? We don't come back and say, well, ooh, that didn't work. You know what I'm saying? We try again and again and again because we're trying to prove to the other side that the other side is better. The grass is greener on the other side. And we run into a lot of disappointments. We really do. And then we realize that women are just women and men are just men in the same um problems you have dating another black person you're going to run into the same problems dating a non-black person and that's just facts so what we need to do as a community is stop fooling ourselves you know what i'm saying i am a realist i deal with reality and the reality is no latino women with all due respect to latinx and the latinx community no they're not the better option they are a option but they are most definitely not the better option 
You know what I'm saying? Because there will never ever be one that was built and created specifically for us like the black woman. Signing out. Y'all have a beautiful day. One love.